It is unfortunate that thieves were allowed to enter Kadan, but at least the Sacred Orb is safe. Thank you for your hard work, all of you. We couldn't have done it without their help. All right, so what do we do next? They're intensifying their attacks. And now that we have defeated them at Kadan, they have even more reason to attack this country. It would appear that the only option remaining is to work together to drive off the Vendini. Yes, agreed. But how will we do it? The only weapon that might help isn't completed yet, and it doesn't have the range. What's the point of an attack that can't hit its target? That's a good question. Even if we hurry up and finish the weapon, there's no way to make it achieve the range we need. We shall request cooperation from Ariel. I beg your pardon? Your Majesty? If you had the means to carry the weapon into the sky, range would no longer be an issue, correct? Ariglip has this ability. All we need to do is borrow it. A means for carrying it. The Air Dragons. Correct. Yes, but will they cooperate? Quest, how are we to be sure that they will not betray us? He has a good point. We do not believe this will happen. The Vendini attack also dealt a great deal of damage to their country. Of this we are sure. They cannot afford to worry about taking our lands now. Furthermore, it was the warmonger Vox who kept pushing for conflict in his country, and he is now in his grave. The king of Ariglip will understand. This is not the time to fight amongst ourselves. Your Majesty. Let us appeal to Ariglyph for their assistance. I shall prepare a personal letter and send a messenger immediately. Can I count on your help? Your Majesty. I'll go too. Don't you think he'll trust me more? I don't think a person from Aquaria could explain the whole picture anyway. That may be so, but you realize this is dangerous? Yeah, so? A little danger doesn't worry me. Very well. You shall accompany her. Leave it to us. Elena, you are to hurry and prepare the Thunder Arrow. Yes, Your Majesty, right away. Mirage, can you help her get the weapon ready? Roger. We are counting on all of you. Your Majesty, what should I do? The two of you should wait until she returns. I shall have a task for you then. Yes, Your Majesty. Fate? Huh? Could we talk outside? Um, sure, okay. Mm -hmm. So, don't you have something you want to ask me about? Huh? If not, that's fine. figured it out. All right. I'll tell you. It was seven years ago. I was 12 years old, living with my parents on Federation Station 17. My father was a Federation officer, and my mother was a research scientist working on the station. Since both of my parents worked, 
I never got to spend much time with them. But I was happy. That is, until the war with the Aldeans took all that away. No, Daddy! I want to stay too! I'm sorry, honey, but we have no choice. Now listen to me. This place isn't safe. They've already broadcast the evacuation announcement for all civilians. But... Daddy, why do you have to stay? I've got a job to do here, Maria. Listen to your father. It's hard enough for him already. Come along with me. And don't worry about Daddy. He'll take care of those Aldeans and then meet up with us on Eric. Really? You promise? I promise. You really promise? Really and truly? I do. Jesse, take good care of her. I will, dear. No! Richard! Daddy! What's the Aldian battleship doing now? After attacking Federation Station 17, it set course for the planet Eric, just as we did. It's just a matter of time until they overtake us. I see. Connect me to headquarters. Yes, sir. Going to screen! What is it, Captain? Requesting a change of destination, sir. Our ship is currently ferrying civilians to Eric. However, I do not think it wise to proceed there under the present circumstances. I cannot immediately authorize your request. We will study the matter here and get back to you. Maintain your present course for now. Yes, sir.
we being attacked? They must have overtaken us. It's too dangerous here. Everyone get to the escape pods. This way. Look, Maria, we might never meet again, and there's something I need to tell you. No! Don't say that! You get in an escape pod too, Mommy! One minute to warp engine core collapse. No, if I don't say this now, I'll regret it for the rest of my life. Your father and I are not your real parents. What are you talking about? We love you with all our hearts, just as if you were our own child. But your real parents are still out there somewhere. Mommy, I don't understand. What are you... You don't need to understand right now. You'll know the truth someday. 30 seconds to warp engine core collapse. You are very important. You must not give up. You must survive. You have the power within yourself. 15 seconds to warp engine core collapse. I love you, Maria. seconds to warp engine core collapse. survive. I'm so sorry. Finding out her parents weren't her own at the age of 12. That must have been tough. There's more. Unidentified ship approaching the pod. Huh? What kind of ship? Origin unknown. Transponder signal not detected. Is her? Yes. She's quite weak, but she'll survive. She's an Earthling. So it seems. Based on our analysis of the escape pod data, it seems she's a victim of the battle against Aldian at Federation Station 17 the other day. She's so young. Poor thing. The Federation and Aldian destroyed themselves in a foolish struggle for power. It's always the common folk who end up suffering. That's why you created this group, isn't it? Nah, nothing so lofty. I just can't stand taking orders from people I don't like. Come on, there's more to it than that. You can tell me. Ah, shut up. <laughs>
You're awake, little one. Does it hurt anywhere? Where am I? Who are you guys? This is the sick bay of the spaceship Diplo. We recovered your escape pod when it drifted near our course. We're traitors. We just finished a deal and were on our way home when we found you. You saved me? Yeah, you could say that. What's wrong? Are you in pain? <laughs> Is that all? Hey, Mirage, let's get this girl something to eat. Coming right up. I see. So that's how you met. That's right. I was taken to the Clausian homeworld. I no longer had any place to go home to, so I joined their organization. You mean Quark? That's right. They told me it was a trading corporation at first, but it was actually an anti-federation organization. But that doesn't mean that it was involved in guerrilla warfare or in acts of destruction. We would assist planets affiliated with the Federation, or unaffiliated planets that were being pressured to join. In other words, our primary role was to act as an intermediary. And how did you become the leader? I can't picture you know who stepping aside so easily. Well... There was an incident, and it just so happens that incident is also the answer to your question. It was four years after I joined Quark. Captain, we're on course for the planet Rion. Thirteen hours to destination. Great. So you're saying Maria's accessing the Federation database? That's right. So that's what she's been up to. I knew she was studying computers, but... The Federation hasn't detected her yet. But I'm worried about what will happen when they do. I stopped her once before, but she just won't give up. Thanks for telling us, Marietta. We'll take care of it. Understood. Thanks! Oh! And... Yeah? What is it? Another problem? Not really. Just don't be too angry with her. I'm sure she has her reasons. She wouldn't do something like that without thinking it through. That's all? Don't worry about it. We won't be too hard on her. Thank you, Marietta. You may go now. What should we do? Should we call Maria over here for a little talk? Nah, it's okay. Let it slide, then? Yep. Just like Marietta said, Maria wouldn't do it if she didn't have a reason. No sense in stopping her. Besides, I'd like to find out what she's trying so hard to uncover. Oh, I see what you're up to now. Well, yeah. Keep an eye on her, but don't let her know we know, you know? Roger. Captain! Cliff. What is it? There's an incoming audio distress signal. It's coming from the direction we're heading, about 12 minutes away. Pretty close. Route it to the speakers. Ship registry? Verifying data. Can't tell at this stage. An unknown ship. I've got a bad feeling about this. Still, I shouldn't jump to conclusions. Ah, what the heck. Let's check it out. 
Proceed at max warp. Position is 50,000 kilometers from the signal location. 50,000 kilometers? Just in case. I want to assess the situation first. Roger. Conventional space. Target location reached. No sign of any ships. No sign? That's weird. I wonder what's up. having a childhood flashback. Captain! Shields down to 67% power! They can't protect us from their creation cannons! 25 seconds to impact! Switch programs! Set a course to evade their creation cannons! Don't worry about the other weapons! Warp us out of here the instant we evade their shot! Program switch complete. Course computed. Preparing to warp immediately after we evade their creation cannons. No good. We can't avoid them. The engine room's been hit! Warp engines down! Evasive action's impossible on backup engines! Damn. So this is how it ends. Sorry, guys. We're sitting ducks now. You're giving up? Hey, I don't want to. But I don't see any way out of this. Give up? Give up? You must not give up. 
You must survive. You have the power within yourself. We mustn't give up! What's gotten into you? Mirage! Fire the quantum torpedoes! But... Now! What the hell? Mirage! Fire! Uh... Roger. ship! It's gone! How in the hell? Maria, did you do this? That's what caused my power to awaken. Over time, I began to learn methods to exert a small amount of control over it. I still haven't been able to reproduce the power that took down the invisible. Anyway, after that incident, everyone wanted me to become the leader of Quark. How can one human, a girl like this, possess that much power? And... I have the same power? What's wrong? Are you surprised? Well, of course. And you're saying that I have the same power too? That's right. I have proof. What proof? I investigated the research facility where my mother worked when I was born, to find out more about my own birth. I found what I was looking for, and something else. A report of a terrifying experiment. Research facility? The lab where my mother worked at the time was a symbological genetics research facility inside District 16 of Moonbase. But wait, that's... That's right. The Line God Research Facility. My mother worked for your father as one of the lab assistants there. I was a test subject at that lab, scheduled for disposal. I still don't know why. She rescued me. That can't be. I analyzed every last bit of information in that database and learned the basic outline of the research. That's how I learned there was another subject who underwent symbological genetic modification, just like me. You. But why? That kind of experiment is forbidden. That I could not tell you. That's why I want to rescue your father. To ask him directly. That's my story. I'm not asking you to believe me. But I wanted you to know. I understand. Let's rescue my father. We'll ask him... together. All right. Ah, there you are. Lady Nell and your friend have returned from Aeryglyph. Everyone else waits in the audience chamber. Please hurry. <laughs> 